let's get to this Sala issue. And I want to summarize it very briefly, Devin. After Sunday's loss to the Broncos, five false starts during the game by the Jets. Robert Sala suggested it was the cadence, that very unique style by Aaron Rodgers that gets guys to jump, gives you a free play. That's trademark to Aaron Rodgers over the past 15 years. Then Rodgers that same day says, well, it's nothing about the cadence. You got to hold these guys accountable. Cadence has nothing to do with it. So the next day it was clean up on aisle five by Sala. Oh, it's the <laughs> operation. It's not the cadence. That all leads up to yesterday, Wednesday, media availability by Robert Sala. Here he is on whether or not he and Aaron Rodgers have hashed out the cadence issue. There is no cadence issue. There never was a cadence issue. It was created. What, what is your relationship with Aaron now? How would you describe it? Aaron and I are fantastic. Love the guy. It was created. He's right about that. He was created by him. <laughs> See, this is part, Devin, of the Aaron Rodgers experience. If you're in his orbit, you got to watch everything you say. All the time, because one false move at the wrong time means you have an issue with this guy who holds grudges, who's extra sensitive, who's constantly looking for actual or perceived slights. I mean, life is exhausting when you have somebody close to you, isn't it? I don't know. I, I'm not going to say that I'm the one or that there are people close to me, <laughs> or like, but I can imagine <laughs> I can imagine life is exhausting if you're constantly tiptoeing around someone who's going to get their nose out of joint over the dumbest shit imaginable. Like whether or not you use the word cadence instead of operation. So it just, it proves the point we were making earlier. It, it's How do you win football games and compete for a Super Bowl when you get bogged down by something like this? I I, I see what you're saying, and I agree to a certain point. But what I will say is the Jets made the right move getting Aaron Rodgers because you can't win without a guy like that. The hard thing is you got to make it work. But if I'm in that situation, I get a chance to get Aaron Rodgers, I'm getting Aaron Rodgers. But I I just think there's nothing wrong with accountability and – after the game, when I heard Salah say that, I'm not going to lie, I thought the same exact thing Aaron Rodgers said. Like, no, like the cadence. Like, Tyron Smith was the one who false started, I think, once or twice. Like, like we, need, we need to change it because the all-pro guy, the, the guy who's one of the best left tackles in his era when he was playing can't, can't know the cadence. Like, no, like, that's ridiculous. Like, we got to hold guys accountable. And I think Salah would say – after I think even when he sat down and he, he kind of probably took all of that in, it was like, yeah, like Aaron Rodgers, was, he was right on that. Like, we can't change the cadence. We can't make this Pop Warner, every, hey, we're, we're going to do everything on one because we can't, we can't stay on side. Like, no, that's ridiculous. We got to hold guys accountable. And the next part of that is we got to hold guys accountable. And guys have to be accountable. Like, we can't leave a game and talk about being on side, yeah, we can run guys in practice in New England if the quarterback and center, you know, fumble the exchange or someone had a false start or an offsize on defense. Yeah, you ran your laps. But ultimately, is that enough punishment to make you not do it? No, like it's the player who has to decide, I'm not going to make this mistake that all it is is a lack of focus. Like they have to decide that. And then as a head coach, Salah has to make sure if they don't do that, you make changes and you go about it that way. But I think, especially for this situation, I think Aaron Rodgers was dead on. We don't change the cadence because these guys are messing up. We go, we practice it. They, I'm sure they've been practicing it. But for some reason, there was a lack of focus in that game. And as much as I'm saying, like, I'm behind Salah on what he's done, when you say statements like that, a lack of focus or a team not being ready to play – Yes, the head coach has to take some blame in that because it's your job to get the team ready. And most teams and the teams I've been on, when that happens, head coach comes in and he says, hey, it's my job to get you ready. I fell short. And then that next sentence is always a but. But as players, I can't make you want to go play. I can't do this. You're the ones on the field. So it's a two-way street. So I'll ask to hold them accountable. But again, like I spoke about earlier, 
The players on the Jets have to take ownership in this team. It is not just Aaron Rodgers, the savior, who's going to come in, save the day, and go win football games. So, yes, they have to find a way to make all of this work together because you said it. You sold your soul. You jumped all in. There's nowhere else to go now. You're in it. So maybe what you kind of thought coming in or what you were going to have to do, maybe you thought you were going to have to tiptoe. Maybe you thought you would throw all that out the window. Go all in. Salah, if you have something to say to Aaron Rodgers, you need to say it. If it's in the media, you need to say it. Like whatever it is, I think they have to go all out and just do those things because, hey, if you say it and he hates you and it doesn't work, right now it doesn't look like it's working either for the, for the most part so far in the year and, you know, four games that this has kind of been in play and been going. It hasn't been good for Jets fans so far. You're just mediocre at best right now. So to me, take the gloves off, just go and go all out, bare knuckle, throw blows, figure it out. And if it works, you have the season you all dreamed about. If it doesn't, it was heading that way anyway. One last thought before we take our first break. Number one, I agree with you that bringing this cadence issue into the conversation was a mistake. The question is, because we know Robert Saul is smart enough. He's got one of 32 oh. head coaching jobs in the NFL. Is he doing it as a way to wrest back some control of his team? Or is it just a simple situation? Like when you tell someone, don't think about elephants, what do they do? They think about elephants. Is he so twisted up? and worried about saying the wrong thing that the wrong thing just blurts out of his mouth. Mm. And it's like, Oh crap. Now I got an issue with Aaron. What am I going to do? Either way, it's not a great situation. Jets fans were dismayed after what happened on Sunday. Our producer, one of them at football night, America, James Kaminsky, he's already conceding the game on Sunday against the Vikings. I'm not so sure about that because I think it's going to be, you don't know which Jets team is going to show up and they're not going to have consistency until they iron out some of these issues. Hi, it's Mike Florio. Thanks for watching PFT on YouTube. Hit subscribe for the latest news and analysis from Pro Football Talk.